Okay. Here is a late night video. It's something that's on my mind and I promised myself that I would <clears throat> record when the inspiration hits me and not just like write a note about it and then expect myself to do it later. <sighs> so what I want to talk about is when we have people in our life in active addiction, in sobriety, and how that can feel really heavy sometimes. And I just want to remind anyone in that situation that it's not your job to keep the faith and hope for this person. If they've shown you time and time and time and time and time again I'm not saying to give up on them, but I'm saying they need to hold the vision of their life for them. And as much as we think we're helping them by holding on to hope and propping them up with our hope and giving and giving and giving for the same cycle to just repeat over and over, like at some point you have to take your hands off and just be like, I can't help you. You've got to help yourself. And this like tough love approach, um, you know, it's tough. <clears throat> it can be tough and it's heavy. And this is a, something that I've had to learn in my life in like the last five years. Um, just knowing people that are in addiction and moving through it and seeing how it affects family and friends and just, yeah, it's tough. It's really hard. And if you're going through it, I just want to give you a big hug because, um, it's so hard. <laughs> I don't know what else to say besides it's hard. Um, but yeah, it's not your job to hold hope for the person. Like, in this particular example in my life, like, the person is clean and fine when they're living with people. But then when it's just them, um, they relapse. And you can't be... You can't be the crutch for these, for that person that's in your life like that. Um, they have to hold themselves up. That's actually part of like why most addicts are using. They're trying to escape something and they are leaning on these um, substances as a crutch. And so if you're also in there crutching, it's not actually doing them any favors. It makes you feel better because you're like, oh, I can just keep wearing myself down in the hopes that they'll get better and it'll be because of me and you know this like almost righteous part of ourselves but it's actually not helping them it's actually like more of an enabling um and I know that word might be triggersome but it in a way it's enabling and in a way it's just like controlling too. Like you can't control other people. You cannot. And the more that you try, I think the more that you're going to be disappointed. So yeah, if you have an addict in your life, again, my heart goes out to you. Um, and let this be your sign to just let go of the reins like you have zero I know it feels better when you think that you're in control but you are not you gotta let them go and make their own mistakes and make their own choices and like find their version of sobriety in the way that they need to and stop letting people use you as a crutch and don't um it's not your responsibility to make someone stay sober. That is too heavy of a burden for any of us to take on. 
The only person's responsibility is the person that's in the addiction. They need to find community. They need to find support. Um, yeah, because no one can do this alone. But yeah, it's. I think it takes a lot of self-work. Um, I personally don't have an addictive personality. I can like notice if I'm starting to get addictive to something and because I don't want to be reliant on anything um, I'm very quick to like back off and be like mm, I'm using this too much let me put it down <laughs> and I've done that with cannabis with alcohol with um, tobacco even um, and yeah it takes real self-awareness and that is a practice to develop it's a skill we have to develop and when we are stepping in and acting as this willpower for someone, um, we're not giving them the ability to develop that skill on their own. And that's really something that everyone needs to do, but especially addicts, especially if they want to stay on the path of, like I said, whatever sobriety works for them. I don't think that like full abstinence really works for anyone uh, or for, works for everyone. I think there is a population of people that it does work for. Um, but I don't think that's everyone's journey. So that's what I want to say. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. Um, if you want any more inspo, um, content, whatever, uh, more offerings from me, you can visit rainbowrach with two w's.com. Thanks so much.